Well, Horns go into Reed Arena and lose again for the fourth straight year. Uh, you know, I could go this whole thing about it. it's it, the rivalry going back and forth every year. They don't win in Austin. We don't win in College Station. Uh, doesn't work here. Doesn't work here, especially with the way our season's going. You know, last year, you know, college basketball is a pretty forgiving sport. Uh, you can lose a couple of games and you'll still be fine. We're at the point where everything's unforgivable. Uh, it's our, uh, what, fourth or fifth um, conference loss now. Um to another unranked opponent, none of this. You know, before the season started, uh, there was a lot of high hopes here in Texas. Um, you know, team ranked in the top five at one point. Uh, beating teams like Villanova, UCLA, winning against Wisconsin on the road, we can beat good teams. It, it, it's, it's in us. Um, you know, the tough losses, losing by one point to Notre Dame and, and losing to Michigan State. <sighs> Something happened. And it's been, you know, it was shaky at first, even during those games. Like, oh, we'll find it, we'll find it. And, and it looked like we did find it against Oklahoma State. Um, but now what that looks like, the Oklahoma State game, is that we uh, we changed things up, and it caught the Cowboys by surprise, and we were able to beat them pretty handily. Now, you look at these past two games with Colorado, I didn't talk about that game, but we won, but if you watch that game, it wasn't impressive. You can kind of see the writing on the wall. Colorado's not a good team. They took us into overtime. So if that says anything, then we go to Reed Arena, play Texas A&M, and let's see, I don't know, Alano, Davis, Sloan, Carter, all of them pretty much just destroyed us. Um, now, you know, I, I want to give credit to the Horns at one point being down by 19 in the second half and making a run and bring it within, you know, two, three, I think four points, and then shutting it down again. You know, I think Gary was the, was the high man, but... He got shut down this game. It's kind of like in the first game here when uh, Alamu, who went off for 13 or 14 in the first half, and then only had like one in the second half. Now, Gary had more than that in the second half, but he really wasn't as the factor that he was in the first. Um, they ran fast than us. They hustled more. It, was, it wasn't good. And, and so, you know, Texas A&M fans, you know, y'all got the win. Y'all needed it. I think y'all got four wins in conference now. And... Uh, it's not looking good for Texas because now you look ahead to Saturday. And right now, I don't see us winning that game against Oklahoma. Oklahoma is, will be ranked, no, should be ranked number one in the country. The rankings don't come out until Monday. But in all, you know, technically they're not number one, but they are number one coming in on Saturday. Um, and we are an unranked team, deservedly, who just lost to an unranked team. We've lost to four unranked teams now. Uh, Missouri has since become that but at the time they're unranked um and now we're expecting to try to win against Oklahoma on Saturday I I really it's going to be hard to see that happening now am I going to cheer and go crazy for the game yes of course and I'll make a preview for the game later this week um but especially you know with the Colorado game that was bad we won the game you know winning is all that matters but you, you lose that to assess what you see down the road uh, Oklahoma's not being taken to the gun by bad teams. They're winning. Teams are giving them their best shot. But in the end, when it's second half, five minutes left, they take over the game and they win by 10, 15 points. Texas can't even win. And this one we actually got blown out by 15 at the end. So, Texas A&M, congrats, all the Aggie fans and uh, – you know, Texas, I don't know. You know, I and I do think we need to stick with the whole with the Balby thing. And you can tell it works. The offense is more fluid. But something's happened to our defense. I mean, offensively we weren't that great today either, don't get me wrong. Uh, but you know, start the season, we were one of the top defensive teams in the country. Uh, right now. And they can get whatever they want to. I mean, when we would try to get on runs before that, you know, fifteen to one run we had, uh, we were scoring. We were scoring to that time. We couldn't get one stop on them. So, and of course, and, and, and going back just to the rivalry, it's Reed Arena and the Aggies hit everything when they're playing the Longhorns. Uh, you could tell they wanted, they definitely wanted more than Texas did. And, um, you know, coming off that road, uh, winning in Boulder and going right on the road to Monday did not help. But that's no excuse to uh, play that like that. Uh, once again, you can tell that the guys, are, they still don't know what they are and what they want to be as an offense. And, uh, you know, A.J. struggled hard. 
and AJ's never won at, at Reed Arena, so the Aggies have that on us. Uh, AJ Abrams has never beaten them uh, in College Station. Now the same can go for the seniors uh, for the Aggies, you know, in Austin. But um, that's tough. That's tough, and you hate to lose. It, no matter, even even if you can accept the fact that that's been the trend these last couple of years, you still don't like to lose to your rival. It's just it's not fun, and they've got bragging rights on us right now. So, Texas basketball, I don't know where we're going to go from now. Right now, we're looking like we're going to head to the NIT if we keep this up. Because now, you look at these really hard games coming up with OU, which is going to be tough regardless. You've got Kansas at the end of the year in Lawrence. We never win in Lawrence. Um, we still got to go to Stillwater. Baylor's coming here. Um, we don't have an easy schedule, at least not for us, you know, as an unranked team right now where we deserve to be. So... We'll see what happens this Saturday. Uh, I'm very interested to see how the guys come out. Um, playing probably the best team in the country, I think, uh, at least one of the best. It's definitely one of the best teams in the country uh, come to our house who has already trucked us once in Norman, and they'll be looking to do the same thing in Austin. Texas better bring their best game of the season if they hope to stick with the Sooners. It's going to be rough, guys, but always and forever. Hook them horns and Texas fight. But we're in some deep trouble right now. Got to get something together, and I don't have the answers. Hopefully the guys can figure it out.